coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We're going to pop some champagne for the Republican America. Two giant victories in the last three or four days. The, it, the House is going to pass the audit, the Fed bill. they got 311 sponsors. It's gotten out of committee. The Feds tried to stop it, tried to gut it. They failed. Even bigger than that, Associated Press, you name it, reporting. Hacked emails from the U.N. and major universities faking all the climate data. They know it's all a fraud. This is really a death knell if we get the word out. They're trying to have the Copenhagen meeting in three weeks. They're trying to pass it in the House. It was passed the House and the Senate in the next three weeks. This is huge news, and I've got a lot of the crew in here. This is how big a crew we have up here at night. Uh, we've got Rob Dew here doing some filmmaking, also helping Jason Burmis coming up at InfoWars on the, on the Genesis and InfoWars Network right when I end, two minutes after this show ends in about 12 minutes. Uh, we've got uh, Ryan. We've got David. Uh, we've got uh, Craig Sadler out there running the show. This is so exciting. I'm going to take a few final calls, too. Phil, Scott, and Chris, and, and maybe some others if we have time, but be ready. We, you know, we're not winning the war yet. But we're winning some major battles, and people need to learn. The globalists are not supermen. They're not invincible. They're not supermen, but we're not weaklings either. All of us can do amazing things, and the globalists know you can do amazing things. That's why they're so scared of you. So with the PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, the AM and FM audience, the shortwave satellite, all our sponsors, everybody, I salute you, I love you, and I want to thank you. And this is for you. Here, we'll try this. Woo, right there, baby. <laughs> Almost hit the camera there. I'm, you know I'm a good shot. Oh, man, great job. Have some of that for yourself. One drink, we can have one drink, and then everybody's still working for three hours after this. No drinks after this, though. The next three hours running Jason's show. we got to sober up around here. Right. Jason, you get one drink on air. Jason's not a big drinker like me, but you know what? Hey, guys, tell tell me, I mean, you've seen how excited I was when I came in today, and Burmas ran up and was excited about it. He recognized why I gave Burmas a show. He recognizes what's important. Rob, do uh, everybody tell tell the I, listeners what you think. I had Rob? people email me this morning about this climate uh, this this climate stuff that that the hackers got, and I mean, people that I know, they know I'm associated with the show, so they're excited too. So I think this is a big a big uh, victory here, and I'm I'm definitely uh, happy about it. Hey, sure here's the freedom, are. liberty, the family, everything good, and, and defeating the Fed. and defeating the globalist parasites, auditing the Fed. I mean, here, here is to everybody who's been fighting all these years against our global savior that sold us on NAFTA and GATT and says he invented the Internet, even though it was around 20 years before he that vote, you know, voted on a Senate vote. Uh, I mean, you know, Al Gore, the, the prophet, who now says it's a religion. I mean, Burmas, what is this like for you? Well, I think it's great. You know, a lot of people still argue with me. A lot of my leftist friends, the people who are all... They're not leftists. They're, they're stooges. They're, they're leftist presidents, a warmonger. Left, right's a fraud. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw a lot of these people beginning to wake up under the Bush administration because of the brazen foreign and domestic policies. But now they're all like, well, if we don't have global government, how will we be saved from global warming? Yeah, they've gone from denying global government. What do you think about the new head of the EU announcing world government, we're going to tax you? I mean, he says right here, global government tax. Mainstream, that's London Telegraph. Global tax. No, it's not a shocker when you actually sit down and read the Copenhagen Climate Treaty and you see the word government appear over two dozen times and the word tax appear over a dozen times. It's pretty evident what they're planning to do. I mean, this is not... You know, H-E-B didn't, didn't have any Dom Perignon. This is okay from France, but it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted, it was still pretty expensive. Though. Burmas came back from the gas station with a five ninety five bottle. <laughs> Bring that in here. And I said, no, go to H-E-B. It's in the fridge. Get something a little bit better here for America. But no, good job, guys. Thanks for going and getting it uh ryan you've been working here just a few weeks tell come over to the mic tell folks what you think about this whole situation it's no doubt the best day of my life actually because i'm i get to celebrate a big victory i'm i'm brand new to the crew this is one of the best shows i've seen hands down i get to be part of it i'm so excited and i know that we've we've got a lot more to go but this is a huge step in the uh, in the transition to defeating the new world order and defeating uh, global government we ain't drinking this. <laughs> Burmas, you can, we want to kill your dog, you can give it yeah, this. Yeah, maybe I'll just shoot it at my puppies. Right? Uh, that's a joke, folks. Okay, um, listen, th I mean, we're having victory, victory, and everybody's starting to wake up, and all the polls show, and people are shattering the left-right paradigm, and both parties are scared. I mean, we're part of the second American revolution against a global tyranny. This is so, People need to recognize how important this time is, how serious it is. And to all the program directors, to all the station managers and owners, thank you for putting me on. 
a lot of big stations. I mean, you're here seeing the new affiliates coming every week, Rob. You you work on that, giving them to, to Genesis. I mean, we're getting San Francisco, Chicago. I mean, we're getting huge. It's in Europe, too. I mean, people all over the world are Yeah, but we're getting big message. affiliates. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's a big thing for a station to put me on. I mean, I mean, it's happening. Because people are going, man, this guy said this 10 years ago. All those thousands of radio interviews I did, people laughed at me. Now it's all coming true. I'm nobody special. I just told the truth. And you had the documents. And I had the documents. My God, we got the... Uh, by the way, Paul Watson has reposted at the top of prisonplanet.com the thousands of internal emails from the UN and these major universities about how they want to fire professors, persecute people, how to demonize them, how to fake documents, how to fake the climate, admitting it's all a fraud. we got to spread this everywhere, folks. Yeah, that's going to be fun to go through, too, to read all that stuff and just see the lie after lie after lie. Oh, my lie. God. The AP's already found in stuff that's just off the charts. This is on prisonplanet.com. This is not pearls before swine, and that's why I salute all of you. Use this against the enemy, ladies and gentlemen, because we're in the fight of our lives. I mean, I got death threats, you name it, going on here, and I'm just happy about it. I don't even care. Because you know what? I'm really alive, and I'm fighting these people, and it feels good. Here, you need some more? Give me that, give me that bottle. Another one. Let's, in fact, let's get Craig in here. Craig, it doesn't matter if you're running the show. You can leave it on the document cam shot and get in here. Hold on. Hide over there, because this time I'm going to try to hit the camera dead on. I almost hit it that time. I almost hit it that time. Let me... Go to this camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go right on it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Yeah, baby! All right! Woo, yeah! Here, Craig, get you some of that, baby. We are blowing up major enemy operation ships. We blew the hell out of some capital ships. Together, everybody out there did it. Man! Yeah, here's to the Republic. Here's to the victory against the New World Order. Yeah. yeah. Here's to being on the side of goodness and not being lying scum. Yeah. Man, here's to all these decades, all the people that came before us, the, the uh, you know, just, just all the countless patriots, the Red Beckmans and the G. Edward Griffins and, and the Bill Bensons and just so many people. I mean, they would arrest them. They would beat them up. They'd bulldoze their houses. They'd shoot at them. They'd... I mean, just Jim Tucker getting shot at. I mean, everything. Here's to me getting, you know, beating on me, saying, shove about the New World Order in a parking lot. You know, I mean, the real deal, folks. That only verified it all to me 10, 11 years ago. We are part of something real, gentlemen. I mean, this is history. And we're just, I mean, there's so many other victories we're having. There's so many other victories. But we're just having more and more and more. So I just wanted to salute everybody. I mean, this guy's got a 20-bedroom house. He talks about how we're wasteful. This guy's just a pimp who wants to train you to live without so he can have more. He's a de degenerate control freak, Al Gore. Cheers. Oh, cheers, cheers, man. Cheers. Hey, anybody else got a toast? <laughs> Barmas, give us a toast. You know, I'd just like to toast all the crew over at InfoWars and Prison Planet. Here, for here. Day in, day in. Here, here. Bring yeah. the truth not only to the American populace but the world populace out there so that we can – Discover our humanity again and fight the globalists. I just want to thank you again, Alex. Oh, discovering humanity. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Uh, you want to say something, Craig? What, what's it like working in here? Oh, it's great being on the right side of history, as you always say. You know what I mean? You get, you're going to get to a point in your life where you look back and you say, what kind of impact did I have? And I think it's, it's right to be good with yourself and, you know, be here. Fight the fight. Fight the good fight. Release the documents. I'm in. I mean, you know, <laughs> and it's going to get worse before it gets better. A final statement, a uh, final statement from uh, you, Rob. Dude, <clears throat> I wish Jacobson was here. You know, after back in college, I started reading about all this stuff because I knew stuff wasn't right. And and when I moved to Austin, I first heard you on the air back in '98, and I'm like, man, there's got to be something to this. Other people are saying the same thing. And then to see once I started working for you many years later, just seeing all the people across. You know the country and the world that contact me every day with with information. By the way, we don't hire happen. zealots. We purposefully hire people that aren't fans because we want them to see for themselves. Sure, and I mean, I never even I mean, you know who we were. Well, but it was a, it was a uh, you had put a Craigslist ad up when when you were looking. It didn't for say who we didn't were. Say Alex Jones just said uh, independent multimedia. 
Well, we don't hire fans because then they can put infiltrators in. Sure, but you know, hopefully you've checked my background. And no, we know you're not an infiltrator. <laughs> <laughs> but but it feels really good to see this stuff really coming forward. You know, back in the '90s, people really weren't talking about this. It was all it, it was all about you know Newt Gingrich and, and Bill Clinton fighting each other. And, you know, all, all these fake battles, and nobody was looking at the real issues about following the money and where it goes. There were a few people out there, but now it's it, the awakening is really happening. You know, just. It's it's incremental. The world yeah. government's here. There's no longer any denial. Yeah. See, if we'd have shut up and been intimidated a decade or 20 years ago, oh, don't talk about the New World Order, you're a kook, they would have won. But we said, no, don't call, you can call me a kook if you want. I've got your own documents. I've got your own statements. We can see you doing this. We said they would get rid of the posse comitatus. They now have. And so because we were willing to be ridiculed, now as it all happens, we're being listened to. And just like Hitler and Stalin and Mao, these guys are going to be dustbins of history. I'm sorry to... Eric, Sammy, Brandon, Brad, Phil, Scott, Chris, and others. Call me back tomorrow during the weekday show, and I'll get you on. Or stay on. Jason, you can go to him. We ought to just keep this rolling. Jason Burmes is going to be on the Internet streams and the M&FMs that pick it up. The InfoWare with Jason Burmes coming up as this transmission ends. Great job, crew. Great job against the New World Order. God bless you all.